today I'm coating over a sheet of wood. We're gonna make a real simple, elegant piece. I'm gonna tint my epoxy black. I'll trial that out, and then using a paint stick and white Rust-Oleum spray paint, I'm gonna draw on a couple white, elegant, beautiful little veins and open them up with a heat gun. And that's a wrap. That piece will be complete. This one's quick and even more easy. Let's get to mixing. I almost forgot, stay tuned and enjoy the video. Stone Coat Epoxy is a one-to-one -one ratio epoxy that you mix for two minutes. So just start slow, give it a mix. We're gonna mix for two minutes. I'm tinting this epoxy black with our liquid epoxy dyes. This stuff is super concentrated. Our epoxy's been mixed, it's been tinted. We're ready to pour this out onto our project. So I'm gonna pour my epoxy in the center of the project, keeping it away from the edges. Once you give the epoxy a way over, it's gonna wanna keep going there. So trial the epoxy all over the field or the surface of your project, giving yourself a little perimeter to keep it from going over the edges. Once the field is covered, we're gonna take the trowel and let that epoxy go over, have a nice even coating, and then we're dragging in our veins. All right, this is an eighth inch by eighth inch square notch trowel. Cool little handle. It's also a mixing stick available at stonecoatcountertops.com. First thing I do is take my mass of epoxy and trowel it amongst itself one final time here on the surface. This is just mixing it an additional time. I'm gonna trowel this material out, keeping it away from my edges. And then I'll come back with a chop brush to eliminate any trowel lines. The chop brush is also gonna mix my material one final time. Epoxy is really fun to work with, but the most important part is starting out with a good mixture. You want that ratio right, and you wanna make sure the epoxy is thoroughly mixed. We mix in the bucket. We mix right now with the trowel. We're gonna mix an additional time with that chop brush. We'll have no sticky spots. We'll have no soft spots. This is gonna cure perfectly hard and smooth as a sheet of glass. Woo, that vein looks sweet. Folks, if you learned anything, subscribe to our channel. We have tons more epoxy techniques coming your way, as well as many on-site projects teaching you how to coat over any existing surface with Stone Coat Epoxy. Jump on over to our website, Stone Coat Countertops, to see all the products used in this video. Getting it right up to that edge now, letting a little bit flow over. Okay, now I'm gonna take my gloved fingers and break up any surface tension on these edges. That way the epoxy flows nice and even. So just make any dry areas wet. And then as this epoxy self levels for the next hour or more, way over an hour, it's gonna be perfectly even over our edges. All right, we're gonna chop the top with our two inch angled chop brush. First step, we wanna de-shed this. Just in case there's any loose bristles, nine times out of 10 there aren't, but always check, pull on this, go crazy little Bob Ross action. We're good. We're gonna use the heel of that brush and we're gonna eliminate the trowel lines by chopping the top. Step one, with the residual in your bucket, get your brush a little bit wet. Bam. Now we're not pulling epoxy right off that surface. We're gonna use the heel of the brush and just in a random pattern, chop the top. This is mixing one more time and it's eliminating those trowel lines. Mm. 
and that tiny amount of black dye made this like piano black right now. It's pretty cool. Now we're gonna grab the heat source, either a blowtorch or a heat gun to eliminate all the air we've just incorporated into the epoxy. Stone coat epoxy was designed for the do-it-yourselfer like yourself. And it's really easy to work with and very forgiving. Some epoxies, you get this much air in there and you're in big trouble. You're not getting it out by the time this sets up. No need to be in a rush. You have a lots of time to work with the epoxy and get it to look just the way you want. All right, set your brush aside and I'm gonna grab a propane torch. This is the most efficient and effective way to eliminate air. You can also use a heat gun and you can also use a blow dryer. The blow dryer is gonna take about double the amount of time as the blow torch. You're gonna hold this torch head about an inch or so from the surface and sweep the entire project. We're gonna let that cool down for a minute or so and then torch it one to two more times and then the air will be completely out of this project. All right, the air has been removed out of that black epoxy. Let's add some contrasting veins using white Rust-Oleum spray paint. To do this, we're gonna spray the tip of a paint stick. It's pretty easy. No high-tech tools are needed. Spray off your project, and then I'm gonna just drag where I want that white contrast vein. Give it a good spray, and we're gonna drag. All right, now we're gonna open up these veins using the heat gun. With your heat gun on high and max heat, we're just gonna open these veins up a little bit, give them some natural flow. So I'm gonna come over the vein and warm it up. Constant speed. And then as that epoxy warms, it then flows a lot more. You can also achieve this technique using the blowtorch. I'll show you what a blowtorch vein will do. And you guys tell me which one you like the best. Just touch and go. You're getting it to open up and then I'm moving. Maybe I'll even make this one a hair bigger. So I'll drag another vein, and I'll drag another vein that kicks off. Think another layer. Layering it's the key there because after I layered that second vein, that looks really pretty to me. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna come back through one more layer on each one of these and then heat it up. And as I do this, it, it brings in some of that black epoxy as well. Incorporates that into these veins. Boom. This one was getting too squiggly for me, so I just move that hump back in. I like that. Whew, that's looking so sweet. I'm not touching those. I think I'm gonna add a little more here and bring that to life. 
It's this cool looking piece. I'm gonna pick up a little black epoxy, spray that, and then you get drizzled in. That gives me a little more material for that white to move and feather out. Watch this. Boom. I'm gonna step around and check out the front. Wow. I like this, it's really elegant. I don't think I'm gonna add any more. I think that's good. You could keep bringing the heat back to your veins, just let those cool off. Go torch out another vein while this cools off, then you could come back and hit certain spots that you don't like, that you might wanna move. Bam! Cool. And I think this piece is complete. I love how this white pillows out on that rich dark black. Uh, this project looks really sweet. This project was mega easy and looks fantastic. I could go and grab some accent colors of spray paint, build these veins, add some color, but I'm leaving this one just the way it is. I'm in love with these pure white pillowed out veins over that pure black epoxy. Folks, question of the day, should I have added more veins or do you like it just the way it is? Let me know in the comments below, A, I love the piece, or B, you should have added more. I hope I was able to show you how simple it is to add veins using spray paint into your epoxy projects. The sky's the limit, grab any gloss restoring spray paint you could think of and start dragging some veins. Folks, thanks for watching and from Stone Coat Countertops, don't forget you got this and we'll see you on the next video.